In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install Windows 11 on an old and unsupported PC. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Does It Bytes. If you're trying to install Windows 11 on an older PC, you might have encountered this issue. But how can you pass this screen so that you can continue the installation process? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So I wanna show you the desktop computer that I'm using with Windows 11. It's an old Asus motherboard computer. It's a Haswell chipset. I think it was manufactured in 2013. So obviously this particular motherboard and computer does not support Windows 11, at least officially. And here's what happens when I try to install Windows 11. So I go through the Windows setup page, selected the language, click on install now, go through the process of selecting the version of Windows 11 I want to install, and I automatically get the, this PC can't run Windows 11. And the reason why I'm seeing that message is because my computer does not support TPM and you do need to have a computer that supports TPM 2.0. So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna to need to do in order to bypass that screen. So here are the basic requirements. You're going to need a USB flash drive that's at least eight gigabytes. And then you're also gonna to need to download the Windows 11 ISO. And I also highly recommend that you back up the data on your current computer. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to Microsoft's website and go to the Windows 11 page and select the disk image for you to download. In my case, I downloaded the 64-bit version of Windows 11. I will leave a link in the description so you can know where to go to download Windows 11. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download this software that will help you create a USB bootable flash drive with Windows 11 on it. So you wanna download Rufus and the version you want to download is Rufus 3.20. And once you have downloaded it, go ahead and install it to your computer. Now plug in your USB flash drive and launch Rufus. And it might ask you if you want to keep it updated. You could go ahead and select yes or no. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to see that in the boot selection area, you're going to look for the ISO that you downloaded from Microsoft's website. So go ahead and click on select and browse to the directory where you saved that ISO. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're using the right partition scheme for your computer. And one way to check on your current computer is to just search for disk management and look for the bootable drive where Windows install and right click and click on properties and then go to volumes and then you're going to see the correct partition scheme. So I kept my partition scheme as GPT and my target system as UEFI. And you can also rename the volume label. In my case, I just named it Win11. Go ahead and click on start and this new window will appear and it's very important that you make sure that you have remove requirements checked off this is what will allow you to bypass that tpm check and also bypassing the this pc can't run windows 11 message after that click on ok and then rufus will start creating a windows 11 usb bootable drive and this process could take a while so just be patient and let it run Once that process is finished, go ahead, click on close and take that USB flash drive and plug it into the computer that you want to install it on and then boot it into that USB flash drive and you're gonna go back to the startup page right here on Windows 11. You're gonna select, I don't have a product key right now. You can enter that later on once you finish installing and then select the version of Windows that you want. And now you should see that message will no longer appear and you can continue on with the process. So the current computer I'm using already has Windows 11, but if you do want to install it, you just click on custom, pick the drive that you want to install Windows 11 on, and you just follow the process. So here's my desktop computer. I am running Windows 11 Pro and I'm using an Intel Core i7 4770K CPU and it's a pretty old computer and I was able to install Windows 11 on it. I haven't had any issues with this computer with Windows 11. It's been performing very well. Uh, the only problem I had was a driver issue with my Bluetooth. So I went over to Asus website and downloaded an older driver version for a previous OS and I was able to install it on Windows 11. And after that, everything has been working well. 
every computer is going to be a little bit different so you might encounter some driver issues when you install Windows 11 on a unsupported PC. I also recommend that you check out this article from TechRadar on whether or not you should install Windows 11 on a computer without TPM 2.0. I'll leave a link in the description. So this is how you will install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC. My question for everyone is, will you be upgrading to Windows 11 or will you be staying with Windows 10? Are you still a Windows 7 user? Leave your comments below. And if you want to learn how to install Windows 11 on an M1 Mac, check out the video at the end of this video. And I'll see you next time.